let's measure distance. Distance is defined as how far apart two points are, uh, or how far it is from one point to another. So when we measure how far it is to the mall, we're looking at how, uh, what the distance is from our house to the mall. Um, we could also be looking at the distance from one side to another. In the U.S., we have tons of measurements of distance. And we all walk around and act like they just make so much sense and they're so simple, but they kind of don't. We got the inch, and then we got the foot. There's 12 inches in a foot. And then we got the yard, and there's three feet in a yard, and there's also 36 inches in a yard. Um, and that's just shenanigans. And then within the inch, we got, like, fractions and stuff, and they don't make much sense either. Uh, a mile is uh, 17... 180 yards, 5,280 feet. Uh, we all just walk around like that's all right, that's normal. Oh, that's so simple because we just memorize it. And really, it's shenanigans. The rest of the world, uh, they use the metric system. Literally, everybody uses metric. We're the only ones left that use this crazy imperial system. Even the country that invented it, um, England, and had the ruler as the foot of measurement because it was the king's foot, doesn't use it. We're the only ones left. And we're kind of behind in science, and it makes science a lot harder for you guys because we don't use metric. So the beauty of metric is that they still have lots of different things, but everything is multiples of 10. So we've got the base unit is the meter, little m, meter. The large unit is our friend, the Kilometer and everybody's like, well, how many kilometers are in a mile? If we all just use it, it wouldn't matter. A uh, kilometer is roughly half a mile. Um, so if you had to travel 100 miles, it would be a little over uh, 200 kilometers. And then for the small unit, we have the millimeter and we have the centimeter. But it's okay. You guys are already used to multiple things. You're used to inches, and a centimeter is kind of like a half an inch. Uh, you're used to feet and yards, and the meter kind of takes a place for that. Used for miles and kilometers. Uh, you know, they're kind of the same idea. But the beauty of the millimeter is that uh, now we don't have fractions anymore. It's just 0.1. A millimeter is 0.1 centimeters. So yeah, it's a tenth, but it's so much easier to plug into a calculator. There's so many possibilities with metric measurements. So let's look at the ruler. Here we have an awesome magnetic imperial ruler and guess what right on the other side there's metric one ruler two sides in class we got to make sure we're using the right side we got to use the metric side notice on the imperial side we got inches and then lots of fractions you got a half inch quarter inch eighth inch or sixteenth of an inch how do you plug a sixteenth in the calculator you don't know because it's silly how do you plug a millimeter into a calculator? 0.1 centimeters. It's so simple. So, centimeters side is the little ones that don't look like inches in class. And then the little tiny marks in between is 0.1 centimeters or one millimeter. So let's measure. Okay, we put our ruler up and we make sure we start at zero millimeters, which is also zero centimeters. And it's not always the end of the ruler, so be very, very careful. Let's do a little zoom action so you guys can see better that you started the zero mark. Now, if we look here, the blue paper is not quite to 28 centimeters. It's one slashy behind. So we got 27.9 centimeters. Hey oh, that wasn't that hard. You just get to the 27 and then count 27.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0 0.9, and then write down 27.9. It's not like, oh man, is it 27 and 3 eighths? And how do I put that calculator? Don't have to worry about it. Let's measure a calculator. Kabam, 15.2 centimeters. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. So, don't get freaked out about our good friend, the metric side of the ruler. It's really quite simple. It's just tenths. They're easy to read. If we gotta multiply or add or divide, we can use a calculator. And if an object is longer than the ruler, then just add rulers together. Or 
use our good friend the meter stick, which is a measurement of one meter. He's awesome. You can use him in class. Just like a yardstick, but uh, it's got 100 centimeters on one side. 100 centimeters is a meter. Also 1,000 millimeters. Count all the little tiny slashies, then it'll be 1,000 millimeters. But you don't have to do that, because you can just trust me. But the meter stick is awesome. He's going to be our friend. And now you can go forth and measure.